What we've got here is the LPC4300, which is a Cortex-M4 processor with a Cortex-M0 coprocessor. So it's a dual-core, asymmetric dual-core multiprocessing microcontroller. Um, for the demo, what the demo is showing is it's got the uh, Kyle Microvision uh, IDE running, and there's two copies of the Kyle Microvision running and one of them is debugging the code that is on the Cortex-M4, and the other one is debugging the code that is on the Cortex-M0. So with the Kyle Microvision, we can stop the code from running in one of the processors, and you will see that one of these LEDs stops blinking, uh, or we can start it again and it starts blinking. So this is just to demonstrate that there's, there's two processors in this microcontroller, and that the Kyle Microvision IDE can be used to debug one or the other of them. As you can see, the two cores are running. Uh, the Cortex-M4 is flashing the LED quickly, and the Cortex-M0 is flashing the slower LED. Now I'm going to stop the Cortex-M4. As you can see, there's only one LED flashing now, and that's the LED being flashed by the Cortex-M0. Now I'm going to start the Cortex-M4 in the debugger, and I'm going to switch to the second debugger, and I'm going to stop the Cortex-M0. And as you can see, the Cortex-M4 continues to uh, execute. Um, and now I can start the, the Cortex-M0 again. One of the things that is uh, so great about the LPC4300 uh, asymmetric dual-core microcontroller is that it lets you uh, partition your system design. So you can have the Cortex-M4 do the digital signal control part of your system. So for instance, uh, maybe you have some motor control or audio processing that needs to be done. And you can have the Cortex-M0 uh, execute stacks. So for instance, you have a TCP IP stack that does network communication. You can execute that on the Cortex-M0, and it can receive data and send it to the M4, which can do digital signal processing on it, and then send the data back to the Cortex-M0, which can then send it out through the network stack.